Hey everyone, I just wanted to come on here right quick and um, unbox my Yamali Natural soap order. Um, so at this point, at this point in this season of life, I have not delved into trying to make my own soap. My mom, my mom made soap all of my growing up time. She, she always made our soap and um, so I helped her with it, but I have not ever done it on my own for my own household. So, I know it's one of those things that I'm, I'm just gonna have to do it at some point and overcome my fears of lye and whatever else. And I know there are recipes where you don't, you don't have to use that. And I, I don't know. Anyway, I just, I just haven't, I haven't mentally gotten myself to that place yet. So until then, we make a yearly, sometimes we'll order uh, twice a year. I think we've got enough soap this time in our Molly Naturals order. I think that we have ordered enough soap. We got, um, I think four dozen bars. <laughs> and I think that that is actually enough to last us a solid year, possibly more. Possibly a little over a year. I think we overestimated. But um, it's always nice to have extra soap on hand though because I have, I do use it in gifts and things like that. Also, it makes excellent gifts um, or, you know, put with, with some other things in a gift. It's just really nice. All right, so I'm gonna spin the camera around here and show y'all what we got. Okay, so I've already opened the boxes, obviously, but they come, we had three boxes. We ordered soap for for ourselves, and then we also um, order for some of our family members. So the, they just come in regular boxes. Each of the, each of the bags, she puts the different um, kinds of different scents. She puts them in individual paper sacks to help, um, you know, kind of make a barrier between the different scents. So that's nice. Um, sometimes she will put similar ones together, like this one. Um, I have Earl Grey Cream and I think maybe there's some barista, yeah, some barista coffee bars. So, Earl Grey Cream is one of Jared's favorites. He likes to get several of those. And then this Barista Coffee Bar here is, we've gotten Coffee Bean uh, before. That is an exfoliating soap. Um, I don't have any of it this time. But this one right here is just simply the oils, strongly brewed coffee, cocoa powder, and that is all. So it's just simply coffee and all of the good moisturizing oils. It smells really good. Okay, these loose bars right here are some that I set in here. Like I said, everything comes in these um, paper sacks here. So, so that you have a barrier and so that nothing is getting scarred up and bent and bruised in the shipping. Um, they're packed pretty tightly. She's got lots of paper around the edges. So there's not any, any room for things to just be moving all over the place. And I love how she adds a little bit of yellow paper in here. She loves um, Emma from Yamali. She loves sunflowers and so I, I love seeing the yellow paper in her packages because it just reminds me of her bright um, happy personality joyful personality I am trying the no mosquito spray for the first time it looks like some really great really great mosquito spray um, witch hazel coconut oil emulsifying wax and then pure essentials oils 
of lavender, citronella, cedar, eucalyptus, and peppermint. So, looking forward to seeing how well that works. Um, classic oat is one of my absolute favorites. Um, do you need some help? Um, it is just, there is absolutely no fragrance at all. It just is a pure and simple oatmeal soap. And it just, I mean, there's no fragrance added to it, but you know, a good clean soap just smells good and clean. Oh, I love it. And vanilla cream is another one of Jared's favorites. So we have, um, several of those, um, in one of these packages. A very clearly marked packing slip. Yeah. Everything is checked off as they count it and put it in. So, you know, they're paying attention to what they're doing. All right, this I love. So I used to be a diehard Burt's Bees, Peppermint, Chapstick fan. Like that was my Chapstick, that's the one I love. Um, I was super happy if Jared came home with a box of like, you know, those boxes of like six of them. But at some point, they're, um, at some point, the recipe changed. It just is not the same as it used to be. And um, I was so, so, so happy to find that when, uh, I was so happy when Emma started making chapstick or when I found out that she made chapstick. I think she had been making it for a while and I just didn't know about it. So I was real, real excited to find her repair chapstick. It's comfrey, comfrey and mint. Comfrey and mint, and it is so, so nice. It goes on so smooth, and it just makes your lips feel so much better. I'm one of those people who, when my lips are chapped, my lips hurt, and I can't hardly, I, it really distracts me when my lips are feeling chapped and yucky and all of that, and so I was really excited to find that. So I got, I got 12 sticks of repair chapstick and yeah it's wonderful beautiful sight right there um the other thing that she makes is green goodness comfrey salve this stuff is amazing um we use it on absolutely everything cuts and scrapes and burns and chapped knuckles and just you name it it's it's really great stuff so she has the one ounce cans here and then she also has three ounce cans moving on all right so she has crunchy mama soap we got a few of those and if you have any crunchy mamas in your life these mm, would make great gifts they would make great gifts because they smell amazing. Grapefruit, patchouli, geranium, cocoa, and oats. They got a little bit of exfoliation to them, but it's not like, it's not extra. So it's just a nice, nice soap. And it's so pretty with the swirls in it and everything. All right, right here we have a bag of vanilla cream soap. Like I said earlier, vanilla cream is one of Jared's favorites. So I think we ended up getting six bars I think I may have more than that yeah anyway. I really like all of the personal touches that she puts in to her packages these stickers on each one are so sweet yeah and as you can see Yamali Naturals was established in 2010. If you are not familiar with Emma and her business, she started making... <laughs> there are so many things going on in my house, in my kitchen, in particular right now. I have a barista over at the kitchen set. 
have a barista, a little barista at the kitchen set making coffee. And her waiter is wearing skates. For better or worse. And they don't want... She's your baby? Well, help, help, help her to... Nice. Okay, I'm done with my cup. Thank you. You brought me an apple? Nice. Okay. Alright, so like, I'm gonna finish this soap review. I think an hour later, different shirt. Got a got some pee on me from the little one, so I had to change. And now apple pie. She's not making apple pie. Zariel is making apple cake. Apple cake is what's going on. Okay, so uh, where was I when when I, when I stopped? Earlier, I was going to say, I also uh, had to run down to help my mom and dad with something down at the church, so, um, yeah, all kinds of things happening today. But, I believe I was saying that if you don't know anything about Emma and how your mom naturals got started, um, she started this soap business when she was 13, and I think it is amazing that now... That now, um, what do we got? 13 years later, she and her husband are running the soap business. She's got so many more um, scents, so many so so many new soaps. Lo she's got lotions and chapstick and um, the bug spray, just all kinds of different things. And they're being able to run this business with their two little ones. And I just think that, that that's amazing. She was 13 when she started it. And look where God has brought her business. I just love being able to support support their business and purchase soaps from them because they their soaps are amazing. And um, yeah, I just really love Yamali Naturals. And you should definitely go check out their website and and purchase some soaps and see what you think. So I'm gonna spin this back around there and show you the rest of the soaps that we got. Um, sorry for the wiggly uh, screen. <laughs> Baby was pushing on my arm. Um, I'm gonna show you all the rest of the soaps that we've got, but they've got so many more um, variety. They've got such a huge variety on their website and they're all amazing. Um, the one that I will definitely be getting next time is the orange blossom goat milk soap. My sister's got some and it smells amazing. Like it's just such a nice fresh clean scent. It's oh. orange, lavender, and Ling Ling. And it's just one of those, it's just one of those scents that I just kept, I was going through, I was going through the soaps the other day getting their order out and I just kept going back and smelling of that one because it, it was just so refreshing. All right, so next in the bag is Detox Bar. This one's bentonite clay, charcoal, tea tree, and eucalyptus. I really like this one. Um, it's just another nice clean scent. And I don't know, I just, my skin feels really great when I use it, which my skin feels really great when I use all of them. but. I think something about, you know, the bentonite clay and the charcoal and how how cleansing that is, it just makes a big difference, um, kind of on a deeper level. So then here we have Baby Bear. This is her baby soap, which we use for just everybody's soap. Also, you can see there, it's got some oats in it. Here are those. And next we have sea breeze. I probably 
probably should have gotten each of these out and like laid them out on the table and then I wouldn't be opening the bag on the camera but bergamot rosemary this one we had never gotten before but <sighs> it smells good I love bergamot and rosemary and so the the mixture of those two just sounded amazing together but this was a special that they've got going on right now I don't know if this is like seasonal I'm not sure but this one mold cider cinnamon cranberry orange this one is very like fall um just that yummy cinnamon what smell of fall that you can you think of think of apple cider and all the apple pies and things Here we have Nani Breeze. I love you. Mm -hmm. This one is a very, um, let me see how to explain that. So it's got the grapefruit, so it's kind of citrusy, kind of citrus orange. Your fingers still have mud all over them. <laughs> we have a nice mm, dirt pile out in our yard. Smooth dirt pile. So they've been going out and playing in it constantly. Mm. I haven't been having to remind them wash your hands, wash your hands before they're eating eat and drink anything. This is Zuriel's favorite. Lemonhead. It's a shampoo bar. Um, you can, like, obviously yeah, use these for shampoo for your hair, but these are also great for your body. Soothing herbal infusion plus lemon lip seed lab. Oh, I'm going to smell that one too. Yeah. Lemongrass and orange. So that one's another nice citrus fresh citrus clean smell. This one is the beard barb. All right, so Jared loves to use this one for his hair, for his beard, for his, uh, for shampoo. But we also, again, we love to use this for just, um, for, that's what we use on our bodies. Yeah, we just, we can use any of the shampoo bars for body bars as well. Alright, this is a new one we've never tried before. I think it may be uh, actually pretty new to her soap um, scents, but East Indies. So it's, as it says, coffee brew, coffee grit, and cinnamon. So this one, what do you think about that one, Talia? She likes that. Um, this one, it has just a nice spicy, spicy scent to it. And very lastly, what do we have in this bag? This one is Lakeside. Okay, this one is one of my favorites. I'm going to smell of that one. Uh, Lakeside is one of my favorites. It has rosemary in it, and I I pretty much love any scent with rosemary. Um, this is one that I have bought faithfully since she introduced it. Um, I think so two years ago, two years ago, three years ago. May have been longer than that, but anyway, this is one of my favorite body bars. It's a shampoo bar again, but. Um, yeah, I just, I really like to use it as a body bar, and um, they're very, they don't dry your skin. All of her soaps have really good oils in them, so they don't dry your skin out, and um, she has, she has soaps that are just, for your, that just have essential oils in them. Her website is laid out very clearly so that you can see there's 
see which soaps have essential oils, which soaps have fragrances. She does use some fragrances, like in the vanilla cream, it uses a vanilla fragrance, but she is also very careful about the kind of fragrance that she gets so that it's not filled with um, lots of, or any chemicals and things like that that are going to be uh, damaging. So, you can go on, on there and and search for exfoliating soaps, essential oil soaps, um, just, she, she has a really great variety and she has a really good, um, clearly laid out website with beautiful pictures. She also is a bit of a photographer and so her soap pictures are beautiful and, um, I just, I guess I can't say enough good things about Yamali Naturals. We love their soap. We love the chapsticks. And um, we definitely encourage you to check them out if you're looking for a good place to get soap. If you're not in a soap making season of life or if you just want to try something new out. If you want to try something different out. Um, if you're looking for a great gift for somebody, definitely these are, these, they make great gifts. I am all for giving um, really nice soaps to people for gifts. I think it's great. It's it's useful and um, it smells wonderful. So it's it's a great gift in my opinion. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful for you. And um, we will see you on the next video. Bye.